video is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome to Singapore, everybody. The most popular layover spot in the world. However, this time we've decided to extend our stay to show you some of the amazing things to do in this incredible city and where to try all the tastiest food. No, 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 no. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess and Hunter, a little growing Australian family who've That's just quite. embarked on their final overseas trip before our little boy is born. <laughs> oh, you made me cry. <laughs> so we're going to take in as much street food and fun activities that this incredible city has to offer in 72 hours. This is something that we have never done before. I love you. <laughs> I love you. So this trip is quite a special one for us. So it's actually going to be our last trip as a family of three before little Coco Pops comes. And I definitely want to remember these memories because when we get home, there's going to be four of us. And that just sounds way harder. <laughs> <laughs> but we're kicking things off here in Singapore. And I think it's like 10 weeks we're going to be gone for. The most amazing series planned. And then we're going to be going to Latlin. And then ending things on safari in South Africa. But we're kicking things off right here in tropical Singapore. And I think we want to cherish these memories as much as possible and put as much attention into Hunter. So we're going to be going to some really fun family friendly things. This trip, it's 10 weeks fam bam adventure. Oh my, that is a lot of flowers. Thank you so much, Hunter. We realized as well, this is Hunter's first time in a tropical place and she is loving it. So we actually arrived in yesterday all the way from Sydney and met a bunch of you at the book tour. When we arrived, it was night time. A little Hunter didn't even make it to the lobby. She was already fast asleep. Oh, look away. We were excited because we thought we'd wake up in the morning to see the views for the first time, but of course that didn't happen due to jet lag. So we've never really stayed at a family friendly resort before and seeing as Hunter is two and a half they are amazing our week here in singapore is going to be split up between two spots mainland singapore and we're going to be heading to sentosa with today's goal being to do as little as possible as we wait for a surprise guest to arrive so we attempted to drop hunter off at the kids club but we ended up getting roped in i mean they had a slide <laughs> they have an entire playground and glow in the dark paint. How could you not? I think Hunter's morning is sorted. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And look at your picture. Wow. Huh? Is it Watch this. Is it glowing? Whoa. Is he not painting on the wall? Whoa. Who are we here for, really? <laughs> Me or Hunter? From there, it was cocktails by the pool, swimming in the pool, and then we had a picnic basket delivered to our room. And I kid you not, it is the most relaxed we have been in ages. Hunter, where are you? Hmm, is she over here? Is she in the tent? Hmm, where is Hunter? Boo! <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Find me a baby bed. What? <laughs> Look at mummy, <laughs> you're such a cheat. <laughs> Look at mummy. Hunter, who are we waiting for? Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, she's outside. Ready? Steady. Go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed you. Oh, you made me cry. She was so excited to see you. Oh, I'm on my dad. I love it. Oh, I love it. What? <laughs> That's cool. Dying to show you. <laughs> so cool. Wow. This is cubby houses. So to celebrate Cleo, she's going to be traveling with us for what? Like three weeks? We have come out to a little restaurant at the resort. It's an Italian restaurant and uh, Hunter's all trying to convince us that it's time for another dip. <laughs> and we're telling her, no, it's pasta and pizza time. Pasta pizza party time. But uh, it's so nice seeing Hunter back with her auntie. She's loving it. Also means we might get a semi break, which is lovely. <laughs> Cleo's on Hunter duty from now on. It's already started. Oh, that's amazing. 
So it's not every night that the chef comes out and asks what would you like and we said what do you recommend and we're just doing a blind tasting you tonight. Stuff out. Starters, what's the bruschetta light? He said mm. it was spicy. Mm -hmm. Eat a pizza. Mm. Mm. Eat the pizza. Okay, and the Negroni. What do you choose? Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> this is purely going to be a time capsule of time. We're going to look back at this video and be like. <laughs> if you're on TikTok, you know exactly why <laughs> ordering this. What's your drink of choice? A Negroni. I was going to say the same thing. Magliato. Yeah. Mm. With Prosecco in it. Oh, stunning. It's strong. <laughs> Not as bad as everyone makes it out to be, yeah. but. Take a straight to sit up. <laughs> so it's the next day and as you can see we are doing something a little bit different. We went and changed our hotels. We are staying now on Sentosa Island and one of the ways to get from Sentosa Island back to the mainland is via a gondola. So today we've jumped into a gondola, one of Hunter's favourite transportation and today we are going to be checking out Singapore. You guys are staying on mainland Singapore or Sentosa like us. It's so easy. MRT just takes you straight in. You just jump on the gondola. You tall enough? came out to go to gardens by the bay and uh, instead because of Hunter's request we're currently in the middle of a giant shopping center on a little gondola boat. Hunter, oh. what have you made us do honey? Have you made us gone on a boat? Mama. Tell me why. I never wanna hear you say <laughs> I want it that way. <laughs> Well, we get serenaded. It's pretty cool that a shopping centre just has a water gondola ride. I mean, this is at the Marina Bay Sands, so right next to the gigantic hotel that looks like there's a ship parked above it. I mean, there's not really any shops that we can afford that are here, but it's still worth just coming in here to check it out. Everybody, welcome to Gardens by the Bay. Our first spot is Cloud Forest. Now we came here eight years ago and the first thing we felt like is that we'd walked into Pandora from Avatar. It's so fitting, the brand new movie is already out and they've actually got an exhibit on at the moment where it's the world of Pandora. Yeah, Cloud Forest. And like I said, it couldn't be more fitting. Some of these exhibits they got here are humongous. Put into like life-size perspective if it was all real. <laughs> places in the world this is where Hunter first learned to do a thumbs up. If you have time to do only one thing when you're here in Singapore you need to come to Gardens by the Bay. The mist and the mood and the lighting is like nothing we've ever seen before. So we just caught the elevator right to the top we're doing the cloud forest walk. That's really cool. I think on the hour, it was 6 p.m. when it first went off, they, they start shooting out mist, and that's really where you're walking around because it hides a lot of the construction and it just feels like you have been transported somewhere else. It's done so well. We came here and we're still impressed with it now. Welcome to the Super Tree Grove. One, One two, two, three. three. So, and every night, 7.45, 8.45, the Super Tree Grove 
Who does a light show? That's a really cool way to end your evening. You know what I recommend? Is try and get up onto yes. the Sky Grow thing. This is something that we have never done before. How do you even describe this, Steve? It's, again, you do feel like you're an avatar. Is it like almost like an art exhibit or something like that? It's pretty cool. Singapore just has the most unique things to go and see and do. I think we love coming to Gardens by the Bay because Singapore, of course, is a big metropolis city. We've got high rises, got a lot of roads. There's not a lot of mega cities in the world where you can just come out and just feel like you're in nature. I think that's what's so lovely about this. It's cool seeing this at night. It looks like He's snoring. <laughs> oh, he died. There's clear third that bill. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the snoring on this one? Listen to this. <laughs> so we come out to a Hawker Market here in Singapore and it's Satay by the Bay, which is actually on the same land as Gardens by the Bay, the Marina Bay Sands. Oh, she's trying it. She likes that. It's chicken. She's never tried chicken before. What do you think of it? You like it? Wow. Mm. Is it good? <gasps> the, the sauce is really, it's really good. good. Oh, so we've just been down by the bay all day and we were trying to work out where we should eat. And we realized down near the Gardens by the Bay is all this street food. It's called Satay by the Bay. So obviously we had to get the satay. She's liking this. <laughs> and we just went to the place that had the longest line. And clearly I think we had chosen right. So we went to a place that they had, it was like beef skewers, chicken skewers, prawn skewers. We grabbed a couple of prawn and then some chicken. I feel like it's pretty cool because I think when you come down to the bay, you think of going to like the fancy restaurants or you can come down and try some authentic street food but Steve is a prawn. Thank you. Cheers Steve. He's clearly gone for a third already. <laughs> street food's good. That's so good. I swear we just never have satay. Really peanutty, prawns are cooked so good. I mean you'd expect the seafood to be good in Singapore. Seeing as we're on an island. How do you eat it Hunter? You have a dip? What do you think? You like it? I feel like she's just using the skewers as a way for her to get the satay sauce into her mouth. All right, let me taste. Oh. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Come check out this spot, guys. Hunter, you don't even know what we're waiting for right now. So every night down at the Marina Bay, they do a light you can and water show at 8 p.m. We're starting today at Merlion Park and we love this spot because if you want to come down and see a bunch of iconic sites here in Singapore, this is the place to go. We are just sitting right on the water. Right in front of us is the Merlion spurting water out into the river. We've got the Durian building, we've got the Flyer, the Art Museum and of course Marina Bay Sands right in front of us. It really is a beautiful spot to start your morning. So one of my favourite things about Singapore is that they have a massive street food culture here. So today for lunch we're going to a local hawker centre. So it's basically like a massive food court. They have a bunch of them all over Singapore. And here you can find foods from all over, from Chinese cuisine to Indian to Malay. We're excited to see what this place has got. It's humongous. It almost feels like your traditional shopping centre food court but mixed with street food. And what's really cool about these places is that they are very specific with their items. So it's not a cheesecake factory menu. <laughs> there are hundreds of items on there. They only do a select few and they've perfected it, which is amazing, which means you're gonna be getting cuisines that have been passed on from generations to generations. So if there's a specific thing you want, you know it's gonna be good because they've been cooking it for so long. <laughs> you know, Hunter, when you were in Mummy's belly, this is all I wanted. Yeah. And that would be so interesting. Oh, she loves it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love coconut water, especially when I'm pregnant. I also picked up, everyone was having it, sugar cane drink. Should I try it? Cleo, yeah. you try right. sugar cane. I'll have a go. From the cane. Oh, yum, that's like sugar. Just well. literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great at this. So. <laughs> You'll like this one, girl. Yeah. 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 Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, she's had... Yes. Yay. <laughs> 
go. They've already had it. See, that smells amazing. I feel like we haven't had proper Indian food in so long. When we were in India, 2019, yeah. it is our favorite cuisine and we miss it all the time. And when we, whenever we have it in other countries, it just doesn't taste the same. But I feel like here, they're gonna get it right. Yum, Steve, you need to dig in. Oh, this looks so good. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it's a little, a little bit, bit spicy. <laughs> Punches in a happy place. <laughs> Super tasty. There's like three different forms of Indian food on here. And presented on a little bit of a coconut leaf. Definitely a little bit spicy. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> oh, good work for trying it. Which one did you get? I'm <laughs> sorry, face just dropped Whoa. everything. You <laughs> went for it, yeah. <laughs> I like relatively inexpensive. It was seven dollars for this whole dish. Cheap. Oh no, drink, drink, drink. <laughs> <laughs> These two can't handle the spice. <laughs> no, it's too spicy. Too spicy. Hey everyone, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to our longtime friends and partners of the channel Squarespace for partnering up with us on this video. So, if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all in one platform. We can easily pop together a website or blog. As you guys know, our website, our little blog, flyingthenest.tv, is built on Squarespace. Jess easily built it using their award-winning website designs. When she got stuck, it was so easy to jump on their live chat. They're available 24-7 to get you through what you need. So if you're interested in popping together a website super easy, make sure you go check out our link below. You'll get a free trial, you go and have a little play around, and if you're ready to sign up, 10% off your first purchase. Thanks so much, guys. Let's head back to the video. This morning, we're having a beach day. We just found up the place we're staying at the Shangri-La here at Sentosa is like the only hotel in Singapore that has its own private beach so let's just walk straight from breakfast they have water sports they have kayaking stand-up paddle boards and a beach <laughs> you don't think of a big city like Singapore having such a beautiful beach Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> three of us on here <laughs> Coco Pops is weighing us down Hunter save us not impressed <laughs> gotta enjoy the sun before it's all snow <laughs> yeah. this time tomorrow we're gonna be so cold <laughs> no, I need to go more fast <laughs> <laughs> and daddy's got your nose. Oh, do you want it back? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait for it. Slowly. Quickly run. Oh no, quickly. Oh, 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 But I think it's for guests. So this is the hotel, the very famous one with the boat on top. And back in 2014, was it? Yeah. The three of us, we all came to Singapore and we stayed here for a night to celebrate ending uni. Such a cool hotel. It has an infinity pool on top and you're 52 stories above everything. But if you're not staying here, you can still come to the observation deck, check out the views. But sometimes you're lucky and come when there's a party on. So we got drinks, Cleo and Steven, Singapore slings. Hey, you got a virgin one. Virgin Singapore sling and what do you have, Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> and we 
we got popcorn. What do you think of the Singapore sling? Oh no, it's so good. So good? So nice, refreshing. So it's like a gin, pineapple juice, and we got like a frozen version of it because as you guys know, we're on the equator at the moment. It is very hot, it is very humid. So it's kind of like you want a frozen drink. Chill out, we're like sitting here. Gardens by the bay are right below us. Party's happening up there. Hunter's loving the Singapore sling. Uh, vanilla ice cream. Daddy, what do you think we're getting? Ice cream. Close your eyes, close, 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 and open. Oh. <laughs> so we basically spent all day today at the hotel. So we thought for dinner we should head out somewhere. So we've come to another hawker centre. This one's quite special. It is located right on the beach. And as you can see, it is a Sunday night and there are so many locals here. So I think we've chosen a good authentic spot. Okay. No, that's fine. Yummy. Somebody order a Milo dinosaur. A dinosaur? What? It's actually so funny because I didn't even realise Milo was such a big thing here in Singapore. But I feel like if you're not Australian or New Zealand or Singaporean, you wouldn't know what this is. Which is basically a Milo drink. And then they just chuck a whole bunch more Milo on top, which is actually how I like to drink it back at home. So this looks like the perfect amount of Milo for me. You know it's a big Milo if it comes with a spoon to eat a Milo with. That is crazy. Leo, we have to try this. That is the most Milo I've ever had in a drink before. <laughs> they must go through so much Milo to make these. That's crazy. Oh, she wants to eat the Milo. Is that yummy? <laughs> I re also realised this is the first time trying Milo. No, it's Singapore. Not in Australia, it's Singapore. Yeah. It's so sweet. That's so good. And for our food, so far we are starting off with a big plate of stir fry noodles, which looks amazing. How good do these noodles look? Cleo couldn't wait. She's already dug in. They're so good. <laughs> and then just wait to see what Stephen's ordered. Stephen's gone fancy. We've gone down to the beach and he's like, you know what, if we're on the beach, we're going to order something seafood. Try and guess what he's ordered. Probably the most expensive thing that you can get here. How much do these noodles cost me, Steve? Like six dollars? <laughs> oh yeah. They have like a charcoal taste to them yeah. or something. Oh my gosh, this is so good. What did you got? Milo Dana. <laughs> what has she had for dinner so far? She's had Milo and an ice cream. Hunter, would you like some noodles? No, <laughs> So Stephen and my favourite cake is a carrot cake. We even had it for our wedding. So this here is called carrot cake, but it doesn't actually have carrot in it. I think it's made of egg and, was it radish? Yeah. Carrot cake that's not a carrot cake, but is a carrot cake. It's like a type of omelette -y. That's really nice. I feel like you could cut it up and then like mix it with our noodles. That's so good. You have to try this, Steve. I can have this for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Cooked in like a clay pot. Yum, look at these breads. Yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh. Stephen got the chili crab. To be honest, we rarely order crab and he's given us plates, spoons, chopsticks, and I'm like, alright, how do we get into this thing? Unless it's kind of already ripped up. Always start with the bread, I'm guessing. Really flavours them but they're very spicy. Get that Milo dinosaur! <laughs> Give me that Let's try this. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I could eat it, it's so spicy. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's Let's go. Okay. Yeah, that's a special. I don't think for the life of me I've ever used chopsticks to get crab meat out. You know when you like spend $49, you're like, where is the food? <laughs> like, yeah, for the what little crap there is in there. It's like really good, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, see clear in there. Yeah. What is that? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> this is where the meat is. That's like 30 bucks worth of meat right there. <laughs> 